I got an idea for you. This Argentine style rib with this chimichurri sauce that I'm going to show you how to make is the bomb. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. I got myself a really nice baby back. It's not quite a pound and a half. I already pulled the silver skin off of it. I'm going to take some black pepper, lay it across the top. Black pepper is kind of the key to this. Lay it across the top. Boy, that smells good. Flip it over. Do it again. A lot of this black pepper is just going to fall off during the cooking process, but I want to have enough on here that we still get that hint of what we got going on. Make sure you get it on the sides. All right, I'm going to let this sit until the Weber kettle comes up to heat. We can put this on. The Weber kettle's getting close to being done, so I'm just going to put these ribs onto the rotisserie bar. And I actually did end up making another one. I don't want to stab myself. Just because I thought, you know, having two ribs would be nice. And I happen to have two ribs. Perfect. So, there we go. Now we put our ribs over the pit just like this, and then we fire it up. At this point, centrifugal force is just really going to keep the juices on these ribs just coming back for more. With our ribs cooking over that open spit, now is the time to make our chimichurri sauce. And this is really the key to the whole thing. So I like to use some fresh ingredients. I'm going to start with some Italian parsley, and I need to go with about half a cup kind of chop it up and I don't want to chop it up too finely because I know we're going to get plenty of chop when we put it into that food processor. Got my food processor here. Like I said about half a cup. We're going to need about two tablespoons of oregano. Boy that aroma in here is already smelling great. We need about a half a cup of one white onion. The white onion is going to add a lot of flavor to this. It's going to be a little bit on the acidic side. That's okay. I don't want to cut it up too finely. Like I said, that food processor has got to do its job too. I need about two tablespoons of one red bell pepper. Just going to use the one. And it's probably a little more than two tablespoons, but I love a good red bell pepper. At this point, I need about a quarter of a cup of lime juice. Squeeze fresh lime. Love it. If you have a beer, you know, be perfect for that. All right, that's probably close enough there. We're going to need some EVOO, maybe about a half a cup. Perfect. Red wine vinegar. Give it that acidity. About a tablespoon and a half kosher salt and about one teaspoon of pepper. I got my handy dandy manual food processor here and I just want to give it a couple of chops. Mix it up a little bit because I really I don't want to paste. Just want a, something that just kind of blends together, tastes good. Something the entire family is going to enjoy without the paste. Give it another check. Yeah, that's looking good. What a mess though. But that's all right. I think that's good. Let's give it a little taste test. That's awesome. You get the sweetness from that basil, get the acidity from the onion and that red wine vinegar, and then you get that smooth flavor from the oregano. That's great. You could use it right now as is. You wouldn't have a problem. Everybody would love you for it. But this needs to marry up. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for two hours. That's why I'm saying it's perfect to do this while your ribs are cooking. See in about two hours. These are the ribs. Looking good. Just slowly going over that pit. Oh, let's watch that. I could watch this all day. It's been about two and a half hours, and I'm going to take these ribs off. They look great. Starting to pull back from the bone. I mean, they're great. They're coming in at about 185 degrees. I'm going to let them rest. But before we cut into these ribs, I just want to show you. It's got a great crust on it. See that bone starting to pull back? There's my grandson. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Let's take these ribs. Good looking ribs. Flatten them down a little bit. Mm. It's cut into one. Nice and juicy still. A little bit of a smoke ring. Got a crust on it. That salt and pepper flavor on there really complements this rib. You'd be okay just doing it like that. But let's try it with our sauce. Come on. Nice little dose on there. I don't care. I'd eat these any day. That salt flavor comes through. Chimichurri sauce, excuse me, really, really does complement the flavor of that meat. 